you're thinking. It's not Halloween. We're still in October. But we found out that Downtown Disney has started releasing some of their holiday merchandise. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Let's oh, go. Let's, Santa. Yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> Come with us on this adventure. I don't know if I'm more sad that Halloween is over or happy that Christmas has begun, but I'm excited to check out this merch. Look, it's Chur Ho Ho Ho. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It kind of makes me sad that it has the castle, so it can't be inside. This is so cute. Welcome home. Look at it, it's Chip and Dale deciding who's on the naughty list, <laughs> which is Donald. <laughs> Who's on the nice list? So far, it's just Donald. Everyone else is on the, the nice list. Yeah. That's I, I like how they had to like draw a picture of him, too. Yeah, that's great. Look at that little butt. You see it? Why are you so obsessed with like animal butts? I don't know. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? We got all the little garland hanging from the rafters. It is the happiest holiday on Earth. I think he's telling us, like, follow the Christmas trees. Keep following the Christmas trees and you'll find the Christmas merch. It's so cute. It is. I just want to take this home. Why can't I take this home? <laughs> this is all I want. Oh, look at the little the gingerbread cut out over there too. Oh, I'm in such a festive mood all of a sudden. Well, I found the first Christmas spirit jersey. Is it even really Christmas unless you have a spirit jersey? Of course not. <laughs> this one is so incredibly soft. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I like is, the castle in the yeah, background. It has like the castle all throughout with the snowflakes. This very vibrant gold and silver color. Wow, I would get this so dirty. It's, it's funny, those like snowflakes are almost like castle, like the fireworks above the castle. Oh yeah on the front. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's worth it. It seems like this white gold and silver aesthetic is on a bunch of merch here. Yeah, I think it's a new collection, but I'm not sure what it's called. I was trying to think of a funny name for it, but off the top of my head, oh my gosh, look at that. Celebrate the season. That is, that's a little risque, yeah, Disney. They're kissing pretty hard there. <laughs> they're going for it. Maybe we could call this the mistletoe collection because they're kissing underneath the mistletoe. I don't see any mistletoe here. All I see is a snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's mistletoe all inside the pattern here. Oh yeah, okay. Is that mistletoe? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. I thought it was cranberries. Gold mistletoe. All right, so the Mickey Mini Meet Me Under the Mistletoe collection. Watch that really be what it's called. I think they're called shiny mistletoe red ears. Mistletoe's green, though. Well, they're like the little red berries on the mistletoe. These are called the Rudolph Red, <laughs> like Rudolph's red nose. Which name is better? Let us know in the comments down below. While they might not be kissing under the mistletoe there, in this design on the cup, they are kissing under the mistletoe. Yeah, and did you see this? Look on the inside. See, I think this is the mistletoe collection. I'm going with mistletoe collection. <laughs> Mickey Snowman is also on this, what is this, like a long sleeve, almost like baseball shirt. This is so cute. It almost looks like Olaf, but then the face is Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> they like had all these leftover Olaf sketches and they're like, you know what? We could put ears on that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've never tried the Krispies that come pre-packaged like this. In case you didn't know, Rice Krispies is like my all-time favorite Disney treat. Kind of tempted to get these. I'm sure the ones at Marceline's are better. Yeah, we'll just wait until the official treats come out. But these are cute. It's like a little Rice Krispie bouquet. Look at this light up figurine. It's almost like one of those cake dishes, but underneath is not a cake. It is the castle. And they have Mickey and Minnie kissing with that snowman. Are you gonna press that button? Yes. Okay, so it just lights up. Yeah. I was hoping for like, I thought there was gonna be like snow. Still pretty cute. If I was gonna get a shirt this year, I think I would get this shirt. I love it that it has Mickey on the train. Did you see Chippendale inside the actual train itself? 
Oh my gosh, no. We're at, that's Chip. Dale's up here. Eyes up there, girls. And uh, is that Main Street behind them? Yeah, it looks like a huh? Yeah, and there's, there's the castle. I kind of love it. Oh my gosh, look at the Christmas tree. Oh yeah, there's the tiki bird. There's the, it's small world. There's the carousel. There's the uh, Mad Hatters. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is like the perfect Disneyland. That is the firehouse too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I really like this a lot. I didn't even see the jungle cruise. Got it all. And the dog from <laughs> from Pirates. That's cool. I might have to get this shirt. Do I don't it. think I own a Christmas shirt. Do it. Do it. Do it. Peer pressure. <laughs> in case you don't want a t-shirt, they also have that same design in chocolate. So this is an advent calendar where you get a piece of chocolate every day in the month of December. I mean. What's I, better, the shirt or chocolate? Uh, do you want that one or do you want the Lego one? I can't have both. No. I think I need this one, I'm sorry. What does it have, Duffy? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the same shirt that we saw at the, the Disney store. Yeah, we saw the mug with this design. So this must be the design like all around. And the Chippendale Nutcrackers are back. This year they're in a different box but it's the same one as they've always had. Just so you know, you want to know how to tell them apart? Chip has the chocolate chip nose and Dale has the red nose. I already knew that. I was the one who told you that. It is a pro tip, ordinary adventure tip right there. Petra, you need to take me home. I want to eat all the nuts in your house. Found another spirit jersey. This one has like a flannel and then a candy cane color up here. I'm going to call this the peppermint candy canes in the woods spirit jersey. Ooh, mysterious. I like that. And then on the front, it's the same, just the D. I'm pretty sure they have these every year. I've never tried them though. It's a set of five chocolate bars. The one that's got my attention is this eggnog flavored one over here. I think they always have like one very interesting flavor and then the other like generic like. Yeah, these all seem delicious and then you get over to the eggnog and you're like, eh. of course Pluto would like that one. They're doing the same kind of thing like they did for Halloween. With any purchase, you could buy this tote for an additional $20. And it's like good quality too. Oh, and that's the same design that was on the stocking at the Disney store. He was hanging up on Oh, room. is it? Yeah. I love all the peppermint this year. I'm a fan. Ooh, it has a zipper and everything. Wow. Wow, I'm way too entertained by this. Ooh, nice. Well, we've reached our third spirit jersey of the season. This has Disneyland in a green. I love that green against that red. Oh my gosh, it's like the same design as that t-shirt. Just, oh my gosh. It's you, like little vignettes. Yeah, you even have like the little soldier guys from the um, the parade. I wonder if it has Duffy on it though. Wow. I kind of love this. I wasn't sure about it at first, but the more I look at it, the, the cooler it is. Did I pull it off? You I could get that so. shirt and then I could get this. Get it. I really do like it. When I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with model trains. And this is a Christmas train set. I think they might have this every year, but this might have like different decorations. They even have a car where they're skating and caroling. It's cute. And look at that. You can see Chippendale in the back. Oh, Duffy's there. Oh my gosh, I need it. Oh my gosh. Duffy, Stitch, Chippendale, and Pluto. Is there a better car? So expensive though. Yeah. $140? I mean, I guess we get an a annual pass holder discount, but still, dang. It includes a remote control. Look, I found the car full of coal. We all know that's going directly to Peter. Yeah, it's going to my house for Kitra's stocking. <laughs> You stole my joke. I love how right next to the train set they have the monorails, which they always sell, but why can't they make a Christmas monorail? I would totally buy a Christmas monorail. The other thing they're doing this year is the gingerbread cookie theme. This one says cookies for Santa, and he has the Mickey hat on. And then also ice cold milk for Santa. 
We all know that I'm really gonna drink the milk and eat the cookies, right? But we can pretend it's Santa. So Christmas is a little they have a bunch of ornament sets over here. Here's Toy Story 4, because that was Forky there. Oh, look at that. There's Epcot on the little... Oh, wow. Is that like that in the in the movie? I don't know. I think that's Epcot, right? And there's the Lexo Ball. That's so random. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Wow. They also have the Lion King. The good version, not the John Favreau one. They, <laughs> they also have It's a Small World. These are actually kind of cute. I love that hippo. I would buy it just for that hippo alone. Yeah, hippo's cute. And they have Jungle Cruise. What else do they got? And then just, of course, classic Mickey and the gang. Yeah, and they're kind of like in classic costumes there, but over here, you can see them in like the whole theme of this year they're underneath the mistletoe there's donald with a present there's goofy like you know he has too many presents he's gonna drop them and there's pluto <laughs> of course going through through a box if you want to represent the characters on your tree in a little bit more minimalistic classic sense they have these little ornament sets of mickey and minnie oh oh my gosh look at this pillow this is so cute i love it look at minnie asleep on the couch we have, Mickey is dressed as Santa. And then if you look all the way down here, we have Chippendale holding their little, what are those, acorns? Yeah. Pluto well, knows. <laughs> yeah, know, he's like, like, he's like, I see what you're doing there. And then on the back, it just says season's greetings. I love this. They also have this reversible throw blanket. Same with, design. Yeah, same design, except it's more expanded, obviously. And look at, you can see the castle in the background. Oh, are they, are they like in the firehouse in Walt's apartment? And they have that same design in an ornament. It's like an ornament game where like you get the, the little gold balls in the hole. Oh, but I think, but I think it, it's meant to hang on a tree. It's like an ugly sweater, but this is actually by the Spirit Jersey brand and it's a zip up. Oh my gosh, look at it. It says Disneyland Resort on the back. This is so expensive though. Did you see how much it was? How much is it? It's like a, over a hundred dollars. Hundred and twenty dollars. Well, if you want that spirit jersey brand, you gotta you gotta, you gotta fork, fork over the money. Ask Santa for that cash for Christmas. Look at this blown glass ornament. They're out on the patio overlooking the castle. There's some snowmen out there. And this actually well, the snow kind of just like moves around in there. Oh my gosh. I found a countdown calendar! We have the Halloween version, but this is the Christmas version. I love this. Look at how like sparkly blue the castle looks. This is very, very nice. They have that same art style on these Christmas cards, these porcelain figures, and even the serving tray. I feel like we normally don't get ornaments like this because they're so fragile and delicate. But I really like this one. I feel like this would look so cool with like the Christmas lights glowing behind it. So I don't know if you could tell, but it's like kind of like a see-through glass. And then you've got Mickey and Pluto inside building the Christmas tree. But look, they even have an ornament version of that same image with Goofy holding the mistletoe above Mickey and Minnie. We found another light up figurine. This one is Mickey and Minnie standing outside next to a lamp post. There's no button to push to see what it does, but I'm guessing that little lamp post just lights up. And I don't know if you can really tell, but there's some cute little snowmen back there. This year they have a peppermint glow necklace, and I think when you press the button, they light up. Or it's strobe effect. Or blinking. Oh, I like that one the best. That one like reminds me of like Christmas lights. They have another candle. This one is gingerbread. Oh my gosh, it's so strong. I got the pumpkin spice one, and to be honest, it doesn't give out like the strongest smell, so I'm kind of hesitant to buy this, even though it's really, really cute, and I really, really kind of want it. I love gingerbread even more than I like pumpkin spice. How cute is little gingerbread Mickey? Well, it is the sweetest time of the year. That is true. That is true. For the little ones, they got a Santa Mickey sweatshirt, and they even have that spirit jersey in a smaller size. But I think the winner of all of Christmas oh my is this poor right here. <laughs> I did see pictures of this online and I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. This is like the size of an actual real life pork. 
Yeah. Do you think they celebrate celebrate Christmas on um, Octu? They might celebrate Life Day. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's what I meant, Life Day. So cute. He doesn't make any noises or anything, but he is very, very soft. I just got really self-conscious because there's a lot of people around me. <laughs> it's a porg singing jingle bells. Obviously. Oh my god, look at these! Ah! Gotta admit, my porg impression is pretty good. They also have this little teeny tiny sweatshirt for children. How festive is this? I says, thought it was cute until I saw that it said land on the sleeve. Like, yeah, it says nothing on that sleeve, but... Yeah, they've done this for every holiday. This is like the new style. I don't like that. It's like the reverse spirit jersey. Instead of it saying on the back, it says it on the front and down the arm. I mean, if it said Walt over there, maybe it would be symmetrical? Mm. What do you think, Minnie? I like it! Last year they had all these like t-shirts for Mickey's tree farm and he was like delivering the Christmas trees. I think this is new though. It's like him setting up the Christmas tree with Minnie. I don't know and... if you can tell how big this actually is. This is like the size of my head. Yeah. This it's is... pretty huge. Wow. Who's that bird? We don't know. Could have been Chuby, <laughs> but it isn't. Yeah. Where would we even put this? It's so heavy. We found the switch right on the back, and it does light up the, the star. It doesn't really do much. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 2020 sucks. We got his and her, like, what do you call these? Like, pajama sets, I guess? Onesies. Onesies. It's almost like an ugly Christmas sweater kind of design. Yeah, except it has that same kind of design with the, the stuff from the parks, like the dog from Pirates and all that stuff. Wow. Pretty fancy. And they have those sequins that you know Peter loves. It goes from green to red. I feel like you need these, Peter. I don't need them. I will say there's way too much stuff here. Like, look at how many yeah. different Christmas designs. They even have socks. Behind you, there's a... What is this, a t-shirt? Yeah, it's like a nighty thing. I know, it's it's very kind of overwhelming, to be honest, how much stuff we they, have. They even have a mini fashion doll set. Oh my, oh my god, god, look at this pet, like... <laughs> what is that, a harness with a Santa cat? Oh, oh my god. I didn't think I was going to buy anything, but I think this is finally it. <laughs> they would hate that. They don't get it. Well, they might like it. You never know. We found a gingerbread. What is this? Like a just like a little clip that you would hang to your bag? I think so. I thought it was a sanitizer thing at first. I was like, brilliant. But no, it's just like a little plush. Look at his butt. I'm not a huge magnet person, but look at this Disneyland Resort holiday magnet. It has Santa hat, has ornaments, has snow, has candy canes. And two more shirts. This one is a little bit more subtle. It actually took me a second to realize that it was even Christmas. Is it Christmas? Oh yeah, yeah it has Mickey Santa hat. If you look real close. And then this one is kind of like a long john or what are those called? Like a... I don't know. It has that, <laughs> has that button up there. That's yeah, not really ever going to get buttons. It says snow much fun. Get it, Peter? Kitra, are you having Cause... snow much fun right now? Yes. They even have a dog spirit jersey because of course they do. This one has a montage of all the characters we know and love, including the castle, has a dog from Pirates, has Dumbo, Tiki Bird, and then it has that raised green lettering with the ornament. I also found a collar in the same design. How cute is that? Gizmo and Pixel need it. They don't have any Christmas stuff, just saying. Look at this hoodie, it's tis the season to be jolly. I like how it has like the peppermint on the inside. Every year they come out with these Christmas tree tins. The design is just always slightly different and this year it's the gingerbread design. The cool thing about these is, oh wait, there we go. <laughs> I was doing it the wrong way. You twist it up and it, it's kind of creepy actually. I don't know, I just have a feeling like this would go off in the middle of the night and scare me. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like a scary, like, Krampus-type 
horror movie. I think your mind's still in Halloween. That's true. I mean, it is still October. See, it's still going off without me there. They have a whole aisle full of ornaments. I think a lot of these we covered in our Disney Store vlog. We have Toe Mater towing his Christmas tree with all those like hubcaps and stuff on it. <laughs> I love this so much. We have Stitch eating a gingerbread cookie. That's like a mood right there. I mean, he does have a Santa hat on, so maybe he's like hoping people will just think he's Santa and get away with it. Yeah, this is a mood for sure. And here's a grape soda pin. You know, Carl Fredrickson has pinned this to his jacket. It, it's his favorite, his wife and his favorite soda from the movie Up. And this is like a giant size one. See, it's like much bigger than a normal. At the Disney store, we talked about these sketchbook legacy ornaments. It's for films and characters celebrating their anniversaries. This one is one of the ones that we didn't see. It's Pluto, he's celebrating his 90th birthday. Butt check. Wow, he's black and white in the back. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I also found another one of the legacy ornaments that we couldn't find when we were at the Disney store. This is celebrating 80 years of Fantasia. We have a little gold sorcerer Mickey inside of his sorcerer hat. The best thing out of everything that we've seen so far. Are you Even ready for it? Even better than Duffy? Even better than Duffy. <laughs> Look at him. Is that Chip or is it Dale? Tell me now. Now that he's black and white. Tell me, is it Chip or is it Dale? I think that's still Chip because Dale's red nose is a little bit bigger. That's, a, that's just a guess though, I don't know. We found some more ornaments with this cute art style. We have Mickey and Minnie with the garlands. And then I actually really like this one. It's Mickey and Minnie in front of the old retro Disneyland sign. Yeah, that one's really cool. I love like her face. <laughs> they have that ugly Christmas sweater design in a pair of Crocs. And the thing I like about this is they have that Santa Mickey charm on each one. And look at it, it's like fuzzy on the inside. These are gonna keep you so warm. I found this three-piece set of onesies for babies, and I love that it says best gift ever, and it's Mickey giving Duffy. I agree that is the best gift ever. But, but wait I a second. Mickey got Duffy from Minnie, so he's just re-gifting it to her? <laughs> hey, shh. Look at this, though. There's some candy cane striped pants with a little wreath on the butt. Try to tell Mickey not to re-gift Duffy. It's going to turn Minnie into Mitch Winnie. For good. They also got a set of Mickey's cocoa. It comes in a set of three. And I'm excited for the candy cane cocoa, but it also comes with cinnamon cocoa and double chocolate cocoa. I mean, I'll drink all the cocoa. They also have this Disney Merry and Bright tote bag. It has the same designs that we've seen all over the merch this year. And on the other side, it actually has the story of Twas the Night Before Christmas, but it's told with our favorite characters in our famous Christmas castle. It's funny they have this huge selection of Christmas merchandise and the only thing I can find for Hanukkah is this one small end cap. But it's cute. They have the, what is it, eight pouches for Hanukkah. And so you can put the different gifts in each one of these pouches. They also have salt and pepper shakers. Are they supposed to be dreidels? I think so. Then they have a serving tray and then they also have like a a little towel that I think you can put on the table. Oh my gosh, they have the new Holiday Lounge Play backpack. We were actually scared that they were gonna be sold out, but they just restocked them. It is so beautiful. I've seen photos of it, but up close, it's way more beautiful than I thought. Like this bow is super puffy. I don't know if you could see on the camera. This is beautiful. I almost wanna eat it though. <laughs> <laughs> I just want peppermint. That's on the inside. Oh, look at the inside. It's got candy canes and little Mickey shaped candy canes. I love it. I didn't think I was gonna want it, but I, you know, Santa, if you're watching, I'll think about it. <laughs> Is this a bubble wand? It says that it's a snow wand. Does it make? Do you think it actually makes snow? How awesome would that be? Is that the snow one? Yep. Yeah, oh, you can wow. be Olaf. I know, I could be With your Elsa. own snow flurry. It's the closest we're gonna get to snow on Main Street this year, and I'll take it. We're gonna head over to the Backlot store because I've heard there could be a couple other items over there. 
But first I want to thank our Patreons. That includes Terry, Julie, and Jameson Miller, the Traveling Tauntaun, Bailey Riddle, and Dwayne Washington. Thank you guys. What's your big revelation about your hat? Did you guys know that this blocks the sun from getting in your eyes? Never knew. <laughs> Why do you think like baseball players the wear hats? The sun is right there, but this like barely covers it, so I am protected. Live in large. Big I, revelations with Kitra. I always thought that baseball players wore them like for sweat, or I thought it had to do with like, <laughs> I don't know. But pro tip, wear a hat, they're cool. I am living the dream right now. I'm walking around with no sunglasses. All is good, baby. <laughs> I love how the billboard in the back lot says the soul's still coming to theaters in Black Widow. It's coming out in November. Not happening. Gosh, Peter, did you see this? I did not. What is this? First of all, not only is it a very beautiful tin, guess what's inside? Candy? Peppermint bark, shaped as Mickey and Minnie. Okay, we're gonna have to buy this. Just so you know, these are fun to share and that shown smaller than the actual size. That means they're bigger. That means they're gigantic. We're totally getting this. We saw this mistletoe cup over at World of Disney, but we did not see the plate set that goes along with it. <laughs> Fab Yolus and Ho Ho Ho. This is my favorite one down here. Bah Humbug and he's stealing the gingerbread castle. <laughs> and there's Goofy, he's wrapping the presents. I wouldn't trust Goofy to wrap my presents. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have the Starbucks mug and it has Disneyland but it's all decked out for Christmas. So like the parade is going by. Is that oh. Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout as a like present? Oh my gosh, yeah, it is, huh? I wonder if they were gonna do a holiday oh version. Oh my gosh, that. don't tease me like that. I love this Jingle Cruise. One is Disneyland and one is DCA. They actually came out with full-size mugs like this. And these are the ornament versions. This is an addiction for sure. I, I don't wanna start this addiction. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> it's all of the Christmas treats. Is this a preview of some of the treats that we're gonna be getting this year? I hope so. I want that apple so bad. We saw this ornament over at World Disney. I didn't realize it has a light inside it. Oh, yeah, I was saying that would be cool, like with the lights on the tree shining it. Wow. Good Look thing. at it on your hand. Put your hand behind it. So fancy. Yeah. I like this a lot. They have the Christmas pins here. So they have Santa Mickey about to make his way down the chimney. Oh, I was right. Goofy does not know how to wrap. He's, he's, he's got himself caught up in all the wrapping paper. Oh, look, it's Fozzie and Gonzo, and it looks like Fozzie got Gonzo an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> this oh. one caught my attention. It's Yoda with the Christmas tree. I thought it was baby Yoda, but it's, it's adult size Yoda. Still cute. He's using the force to put the ornaments on the tree. Slinky Dog has gotten a present, and it is Tin Toy, the first, one of the first Pixar shorts. We have Spider-Man flying through the air, trying to deliver his Christmas presents for the season. Oh, look at that, it's Rocket and Groot. Oh my gosh, that's cute. It took me a second to see. Oh, look at how cute little Groot is. I love that. I, I like the style of it. It's not like the movies or the cartoon. It says season's greetings. Look at this one. We have a couple of Jawas putting a bow on R2-D2 and wrapping them up. <laughs> Sneaky. Okay, we saved the best for last. It's the Millennium Falcon and a couple of TIE Fighters, but they're gingerbread, I think. They're very sparkly. Is that what's going on there? Yeah. Wow, love it. Ooh, they're oh all my... individually wrapped. Gosh, wow, there's a lot in there. Look at that. Careful, you're living life. On, on the, the edge. edge. That's what it looks like on one side. That's what it looks like on the other. So you got Mickey with the Santa hat on. Here we go. By the way, I am a connoisseur <laughs> of Peppermint Park, in case you're wondering. He is. I could smell it from here. Is it good? <laughs> it's officially Christmas, guys. Yay! Even though it's not even Halloween yet, but yay! I'm gonna give this four and a half out of five Peters. The reason why it doesn't hit five, it's not the best. Williams Sonoma has bet, like the best peppermint bark, 
and this is a little bit more chocolatey for my taste. Like you see that, like the chocolate layer is a lot bigger than the peppermint layer, but it, it's, it's amazing. If you guys aren't sick of Christmas already and you want to see even more Disney Christmas merch, check out when we went to the Disney store because it's all different stuff, believe it or not. Yeah, we saw a Christmas Forky. You don't want to miss out on Christmas Forky. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.